Welcome back, friends. So today we're going to make some very, very subtle, grungy papers. And I'm sorry I'm not on camera, but I'm still under the weather. It has been three weeks now. My voice is still a little bit rough. So I apologize for that. And um, anyway, let's, uh, let's just get to it. I didn't bother to clean my plate because in today's video we're going to try to make grunge we're going to like on purpose <laughs> on purpose we're going to make grunge so this is a nice grungy thing to make you know we even have like a what do you call this i cut into it but it's a scrub daddy look at that nice texture um and i have some of these that also came in packing and they have, you know, so we have shapes. And I thought that we would do like uh, subtle color with overall neutral background like Titan Buff or the green shade. I do want to use a lot of the um, Nicola Azo Gold because it's like a, you know, a color you would see like on an old wall. But I want to use a little bit of other colors mixed in so that it really is more natural, I think, um, because there would, if, if it was a wall, there would be other colors in there probably, but I don't, I want to use those colors very sparingly. So on the first one, I think I might just do, I want to see what this looks like without um, any other colors, and then we'll see, um, and I, and I might like only do it around the edges on some. I also found this, I had purchased Tyvek paper. This one was very disappointing because it came, it ha I don't know if you could see that, it has a texture. So this side is shiny and this side is very, probably very absorbent. I'm going to try both. Um, I ended up not using this for anything because, um, although it's Tyvek paper, you can't tear it. Um, it's too textured. It's, it's not good for my purposes, but I also have regular Tyvek paper. And I did do, this is what, this is what inspired the whole thing. I was trying to use it as printing paper and all these little textures from the paper. This is a regular Tyvek paper and it picked up all that texture. So we're also going to try this paper as well. So we're going to do a lot of different things. Um, I'm going to start with the darker color, which is the Nickel Azo Gold. What a beautiful color that is, right? So I'm going to try Maybe like in the center, I do, I really break this up a little. And then I'm, go I'm going to do like various things. I'm going to overlap. I want to see if I use a little bit of this in the center. Look at that. So we did get some interesting little shapes here just by me poking on it. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. I might stamp some of this color in in areas so I have to I have to lay this this, this is a quinacridone magenta so I'd have to lay this down on something like a palette and then we'll stamp on here maybe with some of this stuff let me go find a palette and we're going to let all of this dry
to make this too square. We use maybe this edge. I'm still getting the square. I want very little like that. All right, I'm going to let this dry and we're going to pick it up with the Titan buff. Okay, so this is a piece of Tyvek paper, regular Tyvek paper. And I'm going to pick up with this because I want this, I want to see what texture this creates. So I'm going to put this like, I guess, oh, geez, I accidentally laid it on top of my palette. <laughs> so maybe we'll see some of that through there. Anyway, so I'm going to lay this down. The, the Tyvek paper does absorb the paint really quickly and it's a little harder to tell rice paper I could tell the coolness um, with this I can't really tell so much but since I'm going for grunge it doesn't really matter so it left Ooh, that next one is going to be really nice. Okay. So I think I'm going to pick this up with rice paper. But this is also very nice. So this is this is the kind of grunge that I'm talking about where you're getting these really subtle, subtle, subtle patterns. Um, but this one will be a little bit more, more um, bold, I think. So let's see. I'm going to put more down. We're going to do rice paper next. So this is an experiment I have based on the one thing that I tried. It gave me this idea. And so now I'm just going to run with it and see what happens. Because to get intentional grunge is not easy. I mean, sometimes you have a, an epic fail of a print and it's a beautiful grungy paper. Um, sometimes you're just cleaning the plate and it's a beautiful grungy paper, but to intentionally create one, not so easy. So if I could figure this out, if I can get this to work, I'd be very happy. Because these days, my favorite papers are always the grungy ones that where I wasn't even using a stencil and you know, they're just interesting color patterns that I'm going to leave this for at least two minutes. And then, because um, I want to get all of the goodness that was on this plate, because it looked, when I looked underneath, looked interesting. And I want to make sure we get it. So I'm going to leave it another two minutes, maybe. That will be like a total of three minutes, I think. I'll be right back. All right, let's take a look. Okay, just a little too bold. I know, in a way, I kind of like this one better. I do. This is, is more what I was going for. So maybe... Maybe the Titan buff has to go on first. And we try to pick up with this um, Azo Gold. 
All right, I'm going to I'm going to reverse the process. I'm even going to leave this lacing because I think that might do something interesting. Maybe not. Yeah, we're still getting the lacing. All right, so then um, I might also okay, let's let's use this same Tyvek paper and just lay it down quickly. Yeah, see we have also maybe if we put some wrinkle paper down. I don't know that this, I think it's going to be too see-through, but so I might try to find something even lighter. Light, uh, this has got, this is nice and transparent. I do like it, but it might be too dark. We'll have to put it down very, very lightly. All right, we're just going to, we're going to try this for now, but maybe what I'll do is do an uneven application of it. This isn't quite dry. I'm going to let it dry just a tiny little bit more because I don't want my brayer picking up the paint. And then we'll put this down very unevenly, and then we'll add some more Titan Buff to it, and then do a really rough application. And maybe that'll do it. Anyway, let's give this one more minute to dry. Okay, so. Look at this gorgeous paper. That as well. All right, I'm laying down Tyvek paper again. And I'm going to pull it up quickly so it doesn't pull all the paint. It's like Then I'm going to pull up the rest of this. Yeah, this is giving me what I want, I think. So then we're going to lay down more Titan Buff, or maybe we'll do the green pale this time just so we get a slight variation in color. And I might also mix up, you know, like a, almost this color here you know, like one of these colors in here with a little bit of these two together. I may mix a little bit up just for us to play with. Before I wait for this to dry, I pulled this out, very grungy. I'm going to try to get a little bit of this in here. All right, we're going to let it dry. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to mix up this Nickel Azo Gold. And then we're going to add some Titan Buff to it. And we're going to get that sort of medium tone. Let me get a popsicle stick. So I start with just a little bit of the Nickel Azo Gold, and then I decide that I, I need a little bit more. Plus, I'm going to need a little bit more paint than I've got in this little cup. We need a little bit more of this. I didn't think, I didn't want to go too heavy handed with it. But like, I, I want a mid tone. That's actually kind of nice. I probably could have just used Indian yellow. And I might go grab the Indian yellow. But this might be a good pickup for this one. So I'm going to do it.
And we're going to pick this up with rice paper. That's a very nice color. So I'm going for subtle grunge backgrounds. Like I said, similar, you know, like this is what I would consider a subtle grunge background. Um, you know, the kind of thing that sometimes happens by accident. Uh, this is a little, I don't know, a little too, too much color. This is pretty. This might be a good underpainting for a printable for me to create. Um, I do like it, but I just didn't need something else on top of it. I might print on top of it another day. As a matter of fact, I created some new stencils recently, and I think one of those with a white on top would be very nice. All right, this feels like it's ready. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is really nice. So this new color that I, that I mixed up, it's just like a little bit darker than the Titan buff. It has those two colors mixed together. And you're seeing a, a, a little bit of the um, full strength Nickel Azo coming through in certain areas, but very subtly. Uh, it is just, it's a gorgeous paper. Coming close so you can see. It's, it's better than I thought, really better than I thought. And I, I do like where I stamped with the uh, wrinkled paper. So I'm gonna try another one with more of this, but not so contrived. I, I, I have to make sure I don't get too even or around. It has to really look um, random, very random, but this, this is gorgeous. Okay. So let's do something like that again. Um, I do like that color combination, but I want to try it with, um, the magenta maybe. I cannot remember if I used a tiny little bit of magenta on this one. I don't think I did. Okay, so we're going to start again with the Titan buff. And I think what I did was I, you know, um, grunged it up a bit. And then um, our second layer had the mixture of Titan buff. And this time we're going to use magenta. I'm going to try some. Oh, that's a nice pattern. I like that. Where's that crumpled paper? And my cardboard. Okay, my crumpled cardboard. I'm not going for an even pattern all the way around. This this is too even for me. Um, all right, we're going to let that dry. Next layer will be a combo of quinacridone and the Titan Buff again. We're going to do that really quick application like I did. That gave us this, but this time with the quinacridone magenta. And then we're going to do another layer of Titan Buff and on the Titan buff layer, well, actually on this layer with the um, magenta, we're going to pick that up with Tyvek paper, which will give us some more texture. I, I'll have to mix up a color. Maybe we'll use this again. Um, yeah, I think we'll just use this again. It's a very nice color, and I think it'll go beautifully with the magenta. So I'll be right back as soon as this dries. Okay, so I want to show you this Tyvek paper actually deconstructed envelopes. So um, I just cut around 
And so this time I'm going to use the one, the back side that has a seam. Um, I think it'll be okay if we get a seam down the middle. It, it might be subtle. So I'm, that's what I'm going to use this time. I don't want to use all my envelopes up. Hopefully I will be able to find some Tyvek paper that is not an envelope. And maybe we can... just buy it in sheets or a roll or something. All right, here we go. So another reason why I want to find the Tyvek paper in, in like a sheet or a roll is because it makes great uh, stencils that you could use a couple of times because of the strength of the Tyvek paper. It is a... Um, a paper that has a lot of like fibers. I mean, they use it to wrap your house in, you know, so it is a really strong paper, but super easy to cut your own stencils. So I'll do a video on that soon. Okay. I think we did get a little bit of the crease, but that's nice. It's it made like a nice little line. Now what we're going to do is let this dry again, and we're going to pick it up with the tight with, with this. We're going to pick it up with this. I think I have enough left. Yeah, I have enough left for one more paint, one more print. So I think that'll be also gorgeous. And I think this color combination with the, let, let's just see. Yeah, I think it'll be nice. So this is what we had last time. And it, it's probably going to not be as subtle as this. From what I'm seeing here, the magenta... Oh, no, it'll be subtle. It'll still be subtle. I don't know. I hope it's going to be as beautiful as that one. I will definitely write this down, this color combination. This needs to be remembered. Okay, so here goes. Let's see if this gives us a nice result. I think I have just enough. And again, we're going to pick this up with rice paper. I'm going to leave it to dry about three minutes to make sure we get all of the ink, I mean, all of the paint. So we could also do the same thing with dark colors and that could give us also some really interesting paper for collage. So I would use like, you know, blacks and paints gray and, and regular gray. You know, you can mix a nice sort of medium tone gray that would replace this color that we're picking up with here at the end. And your first layer could maybe be um, a lighter gray, a very opaque gray, that little bit of sheerness, because that's what we have going on here. So that very first layer is Titan Buff, which is an opaque color. Eh, not, not completely opaque, but it some it's semi-opaque so we do see through it a little bit but also I put it on very lightly so that had something to do with it anyway we're going to wait a total of three minutes so we just need a little bit more time so anyway as I was saying we could probably do you know create a, gr a light gray and start with that and then have your next layer be like a Payne's gray or a black mixed with that and then pick up with a medium gray, something that's going to show through these subtle areas here. So that's your last pickup color is going to show through all of these other areas. And your, your, your color, your darker color in the, in the middle should be covered up by the first light layer or in the darker tone area. 
will be your first gray. So I think that would be a good experiment. Oh yeah. This one's a little bolder. It doesn't have the subtlety of the other one, but it is nice. Yeah, really nice. Especially in the the crumpled paper is, is my favorite part, I think. But I also like where the lacing, where I allowed the lacing to happen, and also where I used the coarse scrub daddy. These areas here are really beautiful. In a way, I wish I hadn't done the cardboard, but I think it's a nice, look at this area right here, Ooh, and here. Okay. All right, so that was it. We have this one, our final result, and this one. Two beautiful papers, very different. I don't know which one you like better, but I think I still like this one better. And of course, we have bonus papers, including a roll-off sheet. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have, I don't know that I'd ever use this for anything, but, um, you know, both of these were our in-between paper where we were trying to just leave some of this paint on the plate. But still, these could still be used. And Tyvek paper is nice. It's, it's waterproof. It's, you can't tear it. You'd have to cut it. But it can be used as collage paper. This is also Tyvek paper. I, I liked this first result as well that uh, led to this. And I think we did this other textured Tyvek paper in between. So this I would use for nothing, except maybe texture again in the future. And my little test that I didn't do on camera, super bold, but a great, um, a great collage paper for something in the future. I even like the, the rough edge that I, that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed this session. This was, um, a surprise for me. Uh, I thought my end result was going to be Tyvek paper and it ended up being rice paper, but these look great. Uh, don't forget to create, inspire, and share. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this particular technique. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. And here's another video you might want to watch.